Carol Baskin, I'm pissed. She has little water in this cage. There's no space to roam. Can't wait for dad to get out of his cage. I know this corona is Carol Baskin's fault. And she's probably giving it to us in her meat, too. Oh, great. Hey, all you cool Cassie kittens. Fucking bigger case. You're not giving me one of those. I, I don't got you want a little it. snack. I don't want it. I want it. No. Take a little taste. <laughs> I don't want it. That's a good thing I got another. <laughs> Here you go. Oops. cats and kittens so today I'm gonna to be filming something super fun just a cool little um, tutorial on how to look like a tiger I'm sure a lot of people will be doing that this Halloween so let's get started so first I want to lay the base I am using Mehran, um paradise cakes and I mix a light um, orange with the light tan and um, I'm just gonna put that all over my face and I don't want it to be like super orange and fake. That's why I mix it with the tan. So second, I'm gonna go in with um, the white. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just where um, the white would be on a tiger because we're gonna go in later with like detailed hair strokes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the orange and cover my whole mouth and the whole muzzle area and then um, above the eyes. So I'm gonna go in and put a little extra white detail under my eyes. If you look at a picture of a tiger, it kind of helps to know exactly where you're going to put it. So now that I have the base laid down, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna focus on my eyes and I'm gonna black them out like a tiger would have and kind of bring down some black to make my eyes look more catty. Um, so I'm just gonna take the white again and I'm gonna go in and I'm actually going to mimic some little hair strokes because then things will look a little bit more realistic before I go in with any of the other details. and I'm going to do the nose. Um, if you look at a picture of a tiger, the nose is like wider, so I'm gonna come out further than my nose. I'm not just gonna keep it on, on my nose. So now I'm going to go inside the middle of the nose and make it pink. Actually, it's more like pinkish tan. It's not like bright pink. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I like to make mine a little bit more realistic, so I just mix a little pink and tan. I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to add um, the lips, like the little black line that goes down and then kind of sculpt out. I'm gonna put in a little bit more um, black 
like hair strokes and details because if you look at a picture of uh, a real tiger, there's like little black hairs coming out. Um, so I'm just gonna add those in real quick. I'm gonna go in and do the tiger stripes now. Um, <laughs> There's really no rhyme or reason on how to draw them on. You don't have to be perfect because you can go in and um, make them look a little fluffier with a brush later and I'll show you how to do that. But there's no rhyme or reason. Just go in and um, do it the best you can. And um, I like to press my brush down and then drag it and make sure the ends are sharp. Actually, I'm gonna go in before I do these ones and I'm gonna take like a, like a dark orange um, eyeshadow and I'm just gonna like darken my hairline over here just to give it some depth before I draw those stripes on over there. Also it doesn't have to be perfect because stripes are going all over the place. Um, I'm actually obsessed with uh, Tiger King. I'm sure most of the internet is also. Uh, if you guys have like a favorite part, comment it below. My favorite part is probably all of the memes that have been shared on social media. So that's what inspired me to do stuff like this. And um, there's gonna be more tutorials. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Joe Exotic and maybe even like some of his husbands or Doc Antle. Um, so if you want to see any of those people, you can comment or let me know what you would like to see. So I'm going to go and kind of, um, with a little bit of like a darker orange and like a burnt sienna from just a regular makeup palette, I'm going to kind of sculpt out the nose and just do a little bit of shading. It doesn't have to be perfect, just, just to make my nose look like a wide tiger nose. And then I'm also going to do the same thing for my muzzle, just to add some shadowing. This is gonna make everything look a little bit more realistic. Just kind of the edges where the chin, this is when I like to use my fingers. So, so then I'm going to take just a little blending brush and some black um, eyeshadow powder and if you go in over the tiger stripes and just kind of shade a little bit, it'll make it look a little blurrier and a little bit more realistic. Um, then it kind of mimics like real fur. And you can just do it quickly, doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, if you just blend it a little bit around it, it just makes it look a little bit more real. Um, tiger's lashes are like white. So I actually just take my, the same little detail brush and I go in and just make my eyelashes white. I know it's kind of weird, but to me it kind of adds the detail that I like because that's what the tigers look like. For the last details, I'm just gonna like take some normal black eyeliner. It's just my Kryolan black liner and I'm gonna go in my waterline whatever tight line however you want to call it and I just like to get it all blacked out like a real tiger the small details are really what makes it look realistic you don't have to do it but that's my favorite part uh, so just the little 
the little um, strokes with the paintbrush to make the fur look real um, and a little bit of the shading, it goes a long way. So um, the last thing I like to do is take like a lighter orange and a little bit of a like whitish color and I like to just go down the middle of the nose because then that kind of gives the depth of an actual tiger's nose. That makes sense. Okay, so now that I look crazy and I look like one of Joe Exotic's tigers, that's it. It's super easy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's it's really simple. You don't have to be an artist to do that. Just take your time. It's literally three colors and a couple cheap paintbrushes that I got from Amazon for like four dollars. So yeah, anybody can be a tiger. Oh yeah. <laughs>